I'll simply play the good characters until you force me to play the bad ones. Oh, I'm always villain. <laughs> I'm always the villain. Jokes on you, I was the villain all along. I don't know if Striding's better in 2 or 1, but, uh, in 2 or 3, but I'm assuming it's better in 2 most of the time. It blocks, uh, Vigorous Force. Uh, Vigorous Force? Yeah, Vigorous Force. How are you guys with the Duan Xuan card names? Do you guys just, like, get them right all the time? Because I feel like the cards all sound the same. Youthful Vigor, Vigorous Force, Overwhelming Force, Overwhelming Power, Mighty Force, Strong Force. It's all just Force Soup. <laughs> Blast. Maybe I have a history of not knowing what cards are called. Gather Intense Force, Gather Force. Embracing Chi Technique, I've never known what this card was called. I, I refuse to commit that to memory. I could save this, but it feels a bit too greedy. Yeah. Force, force, force. <laughs> You're doing it up to Stein 10. I have Incessant it now. It's cool. This is actually probably just Breakthrough. I don't know, Genix is okay. Also, Thunder Trip is maybe better than uh, what I took. Ooh, Carefree Tune. I might beat Carefree Tune. <laughs> I'm also doing this for some reason. Hell yeah. Yeah, all, all, we, that's why I play Musician Xiaobu, so I can just not have to read those cards. That's really just my goal, is to not have to read those cards. I kind of want this making a star point. Be useful. This is kind of... embarrassing. Astral Fletch scaling Astral Fletch there. Kind of slay. Yeah, I find them just all very, very similar sounding. You know, that's why the internal injury cards are so good. Their, their names are just not like the other ones. I also think I don't know what any of the Crash Fists are called. There's Entangle, which makes wounds, and Truncate, which gives your opponent your wounds. Shocked, obviously. I guess I, guess I could probably name most of them. What's the one that gives you force? Shaked Down or something like that? <laughs> Crash Fist Shakedown? <laughs> Yeah, the, the new art definitely uh, complicates matters further. I definitely have to take a little moment to register what all the cards are in my hand. The secret chairman normal attacks. Uh, these are all fun cards for people who aren't me. It could be breakthrough again. <laughs> uh. It could be breakthrough again. If I thunder tripped, I could break through here. Yeah, Dawnstone has a surprisingly large number of cards that interact with normals. They have the tier six legendary, uh, the, the tier six talent. Secret secret card. And then they've also got one on tier two, right? Is she the best Heptastar character from Mikasa? She's the best Heptastar character for post action. She's one of the best characters for star power. And she's also one of the best characters in the game. 
So yes, to answer your question, but mostly post action is what she's kind of infamous for. Which is infamous for and what I'm going to be trying to play here. That's good. That's not so useful. Oh, back to the Absorb Exchange is kind of cool. Alright, well, we're Solar Foundation Gaming. We're not Splash Inking. I might spend this hill. Actually, I think I might have to spend this hill. Revitalize was not the card I wanted. Sexy Snake. Now we're talking. Yeah. Um, post action on her. I think it's actually just really good. But a little bit more complicated than it was last season. Last season we got to get away with um, just like disgusting kill everyone on turn three. This season you have to work a little bit more, but I still think her boards are really good. That said, um, I haven't found any of the cards I want, so that's not great, but we'll, we'll get there. There's one. That's kind of one too. I could have considered that grinding ink. You This is the guy that just beat me, right? You could have uh you could have waited you could have dipped a little sooner. Alright, Star and Moon is good. G therapy is also good, but a little hard to play at the moment. There's a bunch of extra destiny in the shop. Watch before flank. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Down mindset is for single characters, so she has her own ladder, and then ranked is all your characters, depending on how you perform. Um. Last season, I thought maybe I should just do regular ranked. Is a thing I was thinking about this season because uh, I bounce around characters a lot, so it is kind of weird to like go from a character that I'm like fighting against people who are at 4k or whatever and then swap to her, but at the same time, it's kind of a pain in the ass to actually <laughs> really manage that, so ended up not doing it. All right, that's good. It's hexagrams and star power and star power. Requiem Jade Lotus. Lucky. <laughs> How lucky. This might be a Drag Moon board. Perfectly plan to go. Yeah, I'm looking at it. It's just awkward here that, uh. Yeah, I could have considered playing too. I, I realized after I looked at her board that it would actually probably be good. I don't know, this Dragon seems like it's probably good against her, to be honest. Just eat perfectly planned for Destiny now. I could roll the Fletch, but I kind of like making a lot of star power. I don't really think I'm beating this board, but it's not impossible. Probably finish my roll down on three and then break through. She found additional stillnesses. I mean, this hit might just one shot her, but it's going to be pretty hard with the Requiem Jade Lotus here. Yeah, that crossed my mind too as a potential option. 
to get the drag moon on the floor. Like, I could have gone drag moon, hit, and then rearrange the rest of the board. I don't know, I might just be okay here. That's maybe not. <laughs> Close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think you're right. I think if I had done that, I could have won that one. Might be a good one to check in replays. Alright, let's try to find another copy of some of these cards, and then we can break through. Not really about upgrading Sexy Snake. I think I'd rather have more shots at Fletch. Maybe the first hunter becomes prayer. I think I was going to break through this time. I would really like another drag moon. Life gets a lot easier with an upgraded drag moon. Playing this board a little slow. <laughs> Didn't kick a max sexy snake. It wasn't max when I kicked it. There's a max star in there. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna just keep rolling here then. Show me another drag moon. I'm lucky. Ideally, this is all under floor. Which is a little hard to do. That's a bit hard to do. Stupid star points. Yeah, I've only got two hexagrams. Very true. <laughs> Very true. Probably means this has to go. A fan game? Probably not. <laughs> Tricky is it's never fan. <laughs> No, I, I could take fan. I still think I'm not likely to. The problem is I just find star power so underwhelming in the in the mid tier, unless you hit really hard. Whereas I feel like the post action board is just capable of killing people. Is that because I don't know how to play it? Sure, maybe. <laughs> you know, I'd be open to that criticism. I think I like that this guy has wounds, though. This is my exercise marrow. Didn't hit the 1%, unlucky. Get him. How does star power work? Star power just increases the damage of all your cards on a star point. So this is a star point, this is a star point. And then Starry Moon makes more cards in my deck star points. Looks like kind of a pile. I mean, these are fine. It kind of depends. If I if I find uh if I find like a tiger and a um a tiger and a fly maybe i would go for it but i still don't really like it stop out is boring that's true <laughs> you 
You need a HHH, but honestly, you don't even really need to play HHH. <laughs> like, you can just play a board with a bunch of Dragon Runes. And you won't, like, win the lobby, but you can at least play it. I do find the Star Power boards kind of hard to assemble. Like, kind of unenjoyable to play. Sorry, not hard to assemble. And hard to assemble. It just feels like so many cards don't do anything, you know? Like, you need the astral moves, you need Star Power. You're gonna play your flies and hits. And if you draw them all, then it's kind of fine. You can just put them on your board and it's like, oh, look at this, I, I did it, you know? I don't know if it's a net good for me that she's got that chase there. That's the second time Snake has killed someone. Yeah, and then when your whole star power board is put together, it's like mid tier. <laughs> We used to think star power was so strong. I could take this, eat eight cards and break through. Take finishing touch, roll ass Dow by paint. Just keep like drag through and ass Dow. Uh, the more I talk about it, the, the less convinced I am. I'm giving her chi though for her surging ways, which is probably good. Shake, not shake down. I really don't like skipping her tier 3. I really don't like skipping her I mean, I guess if you're just dedicated to playing the Surging Waves Overwhelming Force Ward, it's fine. I just hate that style of play on her. Maybe as I play more of her and go back to trying to practice this style, I'll start to find it better, but it just feels like you're in this spot so often where you're at like 40 Cultivation, you're on 18 Destiny, and it's round 11. They could swap Woods' tier 4 and tier 5. Would that be too good? Would her tier 4 be too good on tier 5? Probably. They should probably not do something that might make her stronger. <laughs> yeah, okay. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> tier, tier 5, her tier 4 is so disgusting, you know. Sometimes you have to be willing to ask stupid questions. <laughs> if you never ask a stupid question, you never learn. All right, well, see you next game. I'm supposed to kick this mystery seed. That is what I'm supposed to do in this spot. I love me a Shadow Dow on tier 5. Okay. Oh, I can upgrade one of these then. I don't even have enough hexagrams yet. Should probably use this at some point. It's not gonna do what I well it will do what I want. It just won't do it the way I want it to. Finishing touch I want in the shop. <laughs> Snake and drag man. Very true. Ten on first place. Record of J Lotus is really hard to beat on this board. Should have taken fan, I would sooner die. <laughs> We'll just draw two heaven hexes and then life is good. 
Also, I should probably have this um, escape plan. I should have kept the mystery seat. Got it. That is true. That was the mistake I made. You know, things are going well when you still have a crash fist block on your board on tier five. Great Spirit is playable. This is probably not. Dot it around is also not. Yeah, I, sh I should have got the Wutzer specific Space Spirit field. There are three dead people in this lobby because this guy bounced. Yep, definitely can't afford that. One, two, three, four, five. Solid foundation. Two, three, four, five. <laughs> Don't say it, Senpai. <laughs> what can I do with these cards? I can use Finishing Touch to upgrade Lake Hex, and then I can play an extra Drag Moon. I didn't really think that would be particularly good. I feel like this is still the best thing I can do, regrettably. Never playing Polaris. I'm not playing Inspiration. I'm not playing Dance. <laughs> Ten card packs. I'm running out of dust. I've only got like one or two more days of card packs left. I still have Scroll of Recycle. So I have I'm in no rush really. God, how are these people dead with scroll of recycle? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna try to kill her with this, and then if I don't accept that, she wins the fight. I kind of think I do lose this fight. I need gold cards. I need H H H, and I need. And I need, um, Heaven Hex. I could have been fast with the Thunder Trove. I do kind of regret that. Seems like there might have been a win in here, but it's a pretty small loss, all things considered. How are you doing, Toshimura? <laughs> Brush. Brush is the card of cute things. This flame hexagram might be kind of getting there, though. I can pack to absorb that. This makes one chi. Okay, what, what does my board look like? So I obviously can't play these cards. But I can strike twice a hunter becomes prayer. One, two, three, uses three hexagrams. These cards were upgraded. I kind of need to like chase through against her as well. <laughs> brush finishing, yeah. Brush finishing is maybe a thing I have to do here. Brush finishing upgrades one, two, three. How much is the finishing touch in the shop for Destiny? I should I just buy that then? I could just play double finishing and hope for the best. Probably worse than like brush finishing. This looks extremely bad, but what can I do? Roll a lake hex, roll a hit. Prop man. Wouldn't really help. Hmm. I have heard that they are uh, very mean to this character, but I haven't actually played Final Fantasy XIV, so I can only go from second-hand accounts. Still got that Jade Lotus on her board. Love that for her. I 
think I'm okay here, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Continue. Continue to make her suffer. Laris, fly. <laughs> I, uh, I am getting punished, but I don't care. I stand by my decision. Let's Polaris out of here. I go. <laughs> it was a divine rush angle. Uh. I should probably take this sect of exchange now. I kind of forgot about it. So, man, none of these cards do anything, huh? At some point, I'll absorb these. Well, probably not this one. I can also pick up. This is, what, 15 Destiny along the way? This is very janky, but I just don't have enough Chi to play a proper board. I still don't have the star points to make it a little bit more uh, cohesive. I feel like the people who are still in this lobby, if I could draw a HHH or a Heaven Hex, I would beat them very easily. <laughs> uh, if I drew both, I think I would probably come first, but it's how it goes. Sometimes you don't draw all your pieces. Just don't quite have the damage yet. Yeah, that's what Finishing Touch is for. Can I stop drawing flying brush, please? I have enough flying brushes. Okay. I think I said I win now. Is that what I said? That was a strange claim to make. Destiny later. I don't really need all these brushes. What's going on at the back end of my board here? Yeah, I mean, we're not going to get through this. Might as well flying rush at the start. Sure. Yeah, yeah, it's dive rolls. It's definitely a good chase into chase if we get that far, but we won't. Ah, uh, that was maybe bad to eat. Uh, it's kind of bad against the other person in the lobby, but we'll deal with that problem when we get to it. Yeah, I don't, it's not going to matter here. <laughs> Definitely not a problem here. Uh, you know what? If we had lost because of that, I, you you owed me money. <laughs> you owed me the at currency. <laughs> One 
the full strikes. This is troublesome. We did win because of Flying Brush, that's true. No, unfortunately that doesn't work. The other chase into chase does matter. As does giving her hexes. I want to just eat the lake hex then. Be done with it. Good pickup. I think that's better than upgrading that one. I mean, it's probably the same. And eat this for destiny. I don't need 41 Destiny right now, and I'm not going faster than her. Also, come on, man. <laughs> this chase into chase is a bit rough, but it's just how it's going to have to be. Does this mean I end up upgrading my Flame Hex? Good point. It does. Very funny that she made her only traces chase. Also very funny that Pila just has a lot of chases in it, <laughs> so the money doesn't do nothing, but uh, it's not nearly as good as it would be in a, a proactive board. Yeah, like, she just has a bunch of cards on her board that chase anyway, so it's a lot less good. I'm sure it's not these extremely suspicious as all this great feeling Alexa. I'll take all the Hunter Become Preys you want to give me, game. Alright, we said goodbye to Lake Hex already. I'll also take all the Drag Moon Intercities you want to give me. And just, like, double Drag Moon here. It's a sus angle? I don't think so. <laughs> um, sus can get absorbed though for a card. What if I just drew a hundred Hunter Becomes Prayers? Would that be good? I'm looking at... Double... F I can't play Double Finishing Touch, obviously. That'd be stupid. I think I'm just going to take this to get some cards. Side... Why roll tiger? Did I roll a tiger? If so, then I just made a mistake. This brush is kind of killing me now. Right, sect cards only. If she swaps to just an actual healer board, I could be in trouble. Rabbit too bad. Gotta to swap to Apparition Confusion. <laughs> Some sects education. Very smart. Sorry, that was a lot bitchier than I meant. <laughs> Do I know how it says sect cards? Yes, plants. Plants, 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 plants. What if I just drew a hundred sides and finishing touches? Okay, I don't think escape plan is my answer here. Also, I don't think the seventh finishing touch is the answer. I think this side is 
probably getting absorbed here, so I can try to draw a Heaven Hex. <laughs> God, he's good. <laughs> <laughs> Is my whole board upgraded? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, this whole board is maxed. Oh, no, it's not. Sorry, this isn't because of the flame hacks. Sorry, my bad. One, two, three, four, five. Stupid flame hacks. Alright, what, what you got this time? We're still on apparition confusion. Cool. You got rabbit, just try to find a different board. Also, cut Jade <laughs> like this. <laughs> yeah, this is very much just average Wutza stuff here. I think she's definitely not supposed to be playing Revitalized. But we'll take it. I think she should be trying to just weather the storm. Yeah, so many blue cards, right? That's the thing. You just don't need tier 4 cards. 